All right, so let's talk about another example uh, to uh, discuss more about the difference between uh, shell method and washer method. Okay, so the problem is like this. So the, um, the region is bounded by x equals square root y and x equals y over 5 minus 6 over 5. Okay. So, uh, and then uh, revolve the enclosed region by x axis. Okay, so that's the question. And then, okay, so set up the integral uh, using, let's see, shell method and washer method. Okay, so that's, that's the problem here. Okay, and uh, you know x equals square root of y and this is x equals y over 5 minus 6 over 5. Uh, what we can do is we can uh, draw those two um, equation and then to see what's the basic shape okay but if you look at it here x equals square root of y um, you know uh, it's actually it's the right uh, half of a problem which is equivalent to y equals x square okay so in other words guys what we have here is x equals square root of y okay and also x equals y over 5 minus 6 over 5. Okay, so you see both uh, curve uh, is giving x in terms of y. Okay, uh, there's one thing what we can do here is we can uh, solve y in terms of x. In other words, rewrite both equations uh, and solve y in terms of x. So you can see that x equals square root of y, and uh, since the square root of y, it will be non-negative, so my x must be greater than equal to zero. So if I square both sides, it will give us y equals x squared, but I have a restriction so that those two are equivalent, which is x must be greater than equal to zero. Okay. And uh, so that's the equivalent uh, things. Similarly for this one, uh, you can see that x equals y over 5 minus 6 over 5. What we can do is we can solve y uh, in terms of x, which uh, is not a challenging thing to do. So what you can do is you multiply by 5 on both sides. So you're going to have, uh, maybe let me do here, so it's 5x equals y minus 6. Okay, And similarly you can get that y equals 5x plus 6. Okay, so that's the equivalent y format. Okay, so if we have this, uh, we can draw the graph. You know, y equals x squared, it could, it's something like this, okay? Uh, Again, it's only on the right-hand side because x is greater or equal to 0. y equals 5x plus 6 is a straight line, and the y-intercept is 6. Okay, so we can label 6 here. So it can be something like this. Okay, something like this. So that's the basic graph. And, uh, you know, this is the x-y plane. Okay, so... 
if we want to revolve this region about the x-axis, it can be something uh, like this, okay? Something like this, you know, uh, if, if you're starting to do this rotation here. Now, there's one thing we need, is uh, we need the coordinate of this intersection point, okay? And uh, it turns out uh, it should, it's very easy to solve. So you can see that you can solve y equals x squared and y equals 5x plus 6. Also, you have a condition x must be greater or equal than 0. Okay, so solve for this. And uh, you can see that. So solve this, which is x squared equals 5x plus 6. And that is x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. And you can factor it, right? Turns out x equals 6 and negative 1. But be careful is my x is greater or equal than 0, so I need to drop this. Okay, in other words, the x coordinate for this point it is 6. And then the corresponding y, which is you plug in any of this equation. 6 squared, which is 36. So it turns out the coordinate for this one is 6, 36. Okay. So that's uh, uh, the pre setup. There's something we can calculate it. Okay. So, okay. Now you can see that if we starting to use the washer method, uh, this problem shouldn't be that challenging. So, washer method. If I go on to use a washer method, you see if I draw a cross section, it can be something like this, okay, something like this. And uh, remember the washer method uh, is, as long as you figure out the small r, the, and then the capital R, and then the area of this washer is pi capital R square minus pi small r square. Okay, so that's uh, the, the basic idea about the washer. So now we can take a look at this. Uh, if we're going to use the washer, you see the, uh, first of all, when we try to use the uh, washer method, uh, you, there is one thing you need to make sure is if you're using the washer and then your the integral um, it will be an integral with respect to x in other words since i know that from here to here the it's from 0 to 6 so the integral i have it's from 0 to 6 dx okay so that's uh, something that uh, uh using the washer method okay because you can think about it this uh, uh, this washer is actually is moving um, back and forth from zero uh, and then up to six. Okay, so that's something uh, you need to make sure. <coughs> and then we have to figure out okay, the uh, this is the small r. Okay, and this big piece is the capital R. But this both small r and capital R here, uh, remember that we need to use them uh, in terms of x. In other words, I need to figure out what is rx, what is uh, capital Rx, okay, in terms of x, because uh, our integral is with respect to x, okay. So the small r, as you can see that it exactly lies on this curve, which is uh, x equals square root of y, okay? And then, uh, you know, if I set, this is uh, uh, x part, so this radius, it is exactly y. But I need y in terms of x, which we didn't know that, which is y equals x squared, okay? So the little r x, which is x squared. Well, for the, uh, capital um, R for here and uh, 
as you can uh, tell that the capital R, which is the uh, the distance from here to here, which is the y from this strict line. And we know that that y, which is equals 5x plus 6. Okay, so it's 5x plus 6. So we have our capital R, we have our small r here. So the integral is easy to set it up, so which is pi times 5x plus 6 squared minus pi times x squared, then squared. Okay, so, you know, it turns out this is uh, going to be pi 0 to 6. Uh, you know, the difference of squares, 5x plus 6 squared minus x to the power of force, you know, dx. So, uh, this is that integral that is very easy to evaluate it, so I'll leave you this uh, maybe as the homework, okay, or the exercise after this. So that's uh, that's washing method. It's pretty pretty straightforward, okay. So now let's uh, look at this problem uh, using the uh, shell method, okay. okay. Uh, maybe let's still follow this, okay. So use the shell method. Okay, so let me first draw this. And then uh, still draw this. Okay. So the, uh, if I want you to to use the sh uh, the shell method. You know, when you're trying to uh, draw a shell, it got me something like this, okay. And also, um, guys, um, be very careful. You see, when we're trying to draw the shell method, we need to calculate the volume of the shell, okay, the volume of the shell. And the volume of the shell is a 2 pi times the radius, which give us circumference, and then times the height, okay, and then also times the uh, thickness. Okay. This thickness, it depends on um, your integral is with respect to x or with respect to y. So it's going to be either it's a dx or dy, okay. The other problem here, since we uh, revolve this bounded region about the x-axis, and uh, our shell method, the integral, it will be with, re with respect to y, okay. In other words, you're going to have something integral, something, something dy. In other words, this thickness is d of y. Okay, and then uh, after we got that, uh, you can see that when we try to figure out this r, the radius of this shell, which r, we know that our integral is going to be a y, so it's uh, going to be uh, r of y. Okay, so the radius, as you can see that, no matter how you change this shell, the radius is always this part. In other words, this is exactly uh, the y from the um, function uh, x equals square y. Okay, and then so the radius is going to be y immediately. Okay, um, and then the height. So let me label this. This is six. This coordinate of this point is 6, 36. So the y coordinate and here, it should be 36. Okay, the skills is, it, it, it's not uh, the accurate skill, but you get the point here. Okay. Uh, when we calculate the height, you know, the interesting thing is, uh, 
if we, you know, expand this shell, and then you see from here, it says if from here you're gonna have a very tiny shell here, okay? And then your shell is starting to moving, moving, moving. But bam, after you got to here, guys, you can think about up to here. Okay, this is the larger shell. Okay. It's the larger shell up to here. And then you can see that up to here, the height, it's actually, it's the difference between this curve, which is actually equal square root y, to the y-axis, okay, from 0 to 6, okay. So in other words, when y is between 0 and 6, and then the height in terms of y, which is exactly the this distance on this curve, which is uh, x equals square root of y, and this is x, we need to write the height in terms of y, which we already have it, which is just the square root of y. Okay, so that's a you know, perfect format. Okay. But the other thing is when y is greater than 6 and less or equal than 36, in other words, your shell is going to, the height going to become into here. And you can see that the radius is still the same thing, which is still it's the y here. Um, but the radius after you cross 6, in other words, between 6 and 36, the height of this shell, which is exactly the difference between this to this pieces. Okay? Right? So if you, if I do this way, you can see that this is going to be the height. It's exactly the difference of those two functions. Okay, but it's in terms uh, of y. So the hy here is going to be, you know, this x, which is square root of y, this x, which is y over 5 minus 6 over 5. So it's exactly the difference of the x coordinate in terms of y, which gives us is square root of y minus uh, the y over 5 minus 6 over 5, okay? So that's going to be the height uh, of, this, uh, of, of this shell, okay? In other words, if we want to use shell method to deal with this problem, we need to write into the summation of the two definite integrals. From 0 to 6, our shell is 2 pi times the radius, which is always y, times the height, which is square root of y, dy, okay. And then plus from 6 to 36, and then 2 pi times the radius, which is, radius is the same, it's always y. And then time the height, which is square root of y minus, uh, you know, y over 5, and then maybe put a, another parenthesis, dy, okay. Because from 6 to 36, Again, the height is changing. It's not this part. Instead, it's the distance uh, between those two curves uh, in terms of y. Okay, so that uh, is the integral. And uh, you can see that for this problem, the uh, washer method uh, is much, much easier than the uh, shell method. Okay, but some problems, it might be the reverse. It could be the shell method is so easy, um, and then the washer method, it might take some time to construct, okay? So about which one is better? Uh, I think when you guys practice a certain number of examples, you're starting to have the sense uh, uh, about which one is easy to set up, okay? So I'll stop here, and uh, thank you for watching.